Hello, my lovelies. Hello and welcome. Today I am talking about one of my favorite topics. Happy almost New Year's. And I want to talk about why you should not make New Year's resolutions. I gave up making New Year's resolutions years and years and years ago. And full disclosure, I gave them up initially because I, ha- I was so discouraged of not getting my goals or not doing the things that I would set out to do. I would get so excited about doing at the beginning of the year. So if that's you, know that you are in very good company and that statistics show that by February 8th, 95% of the population who set New Year's resolutions or goals have abandoned them or given up on them. And so today I want to talk about why that is, that it is not your fault, right? Because this time of year is the worst time to start something new, to start to create something, to set goals. So before I get into why you shouldn't make New Year's resolutions, this this doesn't mean that you let your goals go by the wayside, that you don't continue to keep doing the work and working towards your desires, your goals, and your outcomes. No, no. What I'm saying is that that there are natural cycles and that when we align with those cycles of the planet, of the universe, then we are more likely to achieve our goals, to get our outcomes, and we have the forces of nature, the forces of the universe helping us and moving us along. And isn't that what we want? That's right. So winter, right? We are currently in winter. If you're watching this now, it's almost New Year's. It's December 29th. Winter is completion energy. There are three types of energies in the cosmos. There's creation energy, right? Which is birthing something new. There's transformation energy, change energy, which is going to happen whether we like it or not, but we want to be able to guide it. And then there is completion energy. And that's where we are now. We're in winter time here in the Northern hemisphere where I am. I'm in New England in the United States. It's winter and it's time to finish things, to wrap things up, right? So if you're one of those people who have not been getting your outcomes, or even if you do get your outcomes, even if you make the shift to align with the cycles of nature, I will bet and almost guarantee that you're out, you'll get your outcomes more easily and effortlessly, which is what we're meant to do and to have. So... It's winter time, and in thinking about what you want, your outcomes that that you're working to, your goals, and what you do want in the new year, in 2023, let's shift it just a little bit so in winter time, this season, we go within and we wrap things up. What do you need to finish in order to birth something new, say, in springtime or as springtime approaches? If you're, if you want a new relationship, a new job to bring in more abundance into your life, what do you need to eliminate in order to make that happen? So if you're, if you want a new love or a new relationship, what's in the way of that, right? Do you have some, do you have a relationship right now that you know is not for you, but is comfortable and fills the time and the space and keeps you from being lonely? And that's taking up the space of your manifesting a true love. Perhaps if you are in a job or a career that isn't your purpose work and that really doesn't fulfill you, are you what are you doing? What are you filling the space with that is, that is filled and keeping you from the work and the abundance that you know that you're meant to do and that your heart desires, right? So this winter, I invite you to go within and look at what you need to wrap up, what you need to complete, what you need to let go of, people, places, habits, negative emotions, patterns, limiting beliefs. What do you need to let go of, complete, put behind you so you can prepare and make room to birth that something new 
in the coming year in the springtime, perhaps, right? So think about, I want you to think about what needs to be wrapped up and ended in a harmonious way, right? Uh, so you can start that something new when the time is right. What old patterns, beliefs, and habits have you been harboring that are keeping you from your desires and your dreams? And um, my Sync Your Soul program, well, weekend event, is the perfect time for you to look at that, unearth it, and then let it go, right? So my Sync Your Soul weekend, event, my Sync Your Soul weekend event, January 7th and 8th, we're going to let negative emotions go, limiting beliefs go. We're looking at what's no longer serving you so you can let go and make that space that is required in order for you to birth that something new, to create that something new, to call in that something new, love, abundance, relationship, purpose, work. That's most of it, right? Health and um, health and well-being, right? Health and well-being. If you have a health situation or you're not as healthy or as fit as you like, you know, what do you need to let go of to make space for new habits and new, um, lost my train of thought. <laughs> Please forgive me. So you get, you get the idea. So, and anyway, in my Sink Your Soul weekend event, we're going to look at that. We're going, to, we're going to wipe the slate clean, let all that stuff go. So then going forward, you'll have the space. You'll have the space and the emotional health and mental and emotional health and well-being to just set yourself up for success moving forward. And if you, and I'll put the link in this post somewhere. And if you en enroll right now, I'm offering a bonus se session on Tuesday, January 3rd in the evening, 8 p.m. Eastern time, where we're going, I'm going to help you prepare and get a head start on the weekend so you get the biggest release possible on the weekend event. So even if you're not doing that, it's, it's all good. Making this shift can really fuel your success in getting your goals, right? Aligning with the rhythms of nature, the rhythms of the planet, and the rhythms of the cosmos will really set you up for success in getting your goals and your outcomes. So if you want to join me for Sync Your Soul, the link, the registration link is in this post somewhere, and I will look forward to seeing you hopefully then January 7th and 8th, or I'll look forward and or I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, I'll see you in the gap. I love you. Mwah.